motorola.atrixmo.row and gsmdome.com. This is the Motorola Atrix, the world's most powerful smartphone at CES 2011. It's got a dual core processor, NVIDIA Tegra 2 chip, gig of RAM, 5 megapixel camera, dual LED flash and HD video capture. It's got a front facing VGA camera. It's the world's first 4 inch QHD display. On the back you've also got fingertip recognition, so you slide your finger down and it'll unlock the phone. It's got 16 gigabytes of internal memory and you can have up to a 32 SD card, so 48 in total, um, which is large. It's also running Google Android, as you can see, really fast through the menus. It's also got Moto Blur on there to enhance Android as well. So we take the world's most powerful smartphone and put it in the docking station. It then launches into webtop mode, which is Motorola software and Linux based. So you'll see here we have our mobile view, which is a fully, fully functional mobile phone. You can make phone calls, send text messages, multitask, interact with applications then make applications the size of the screen. Also here we've got a full Firefox web browser, just as you see on your PC. It also supports Citrix and really converges the mobile computing space. You then take the phone out of the dock, bring it across the lap dock, place it in the lap dock, open it up, then launch webtop mode again and place it exactly where you left it so it's really seamless. Again, you have mobile view, Firefox web browser, Citrix. Also there's two batteries here, seven hours it will play for and it will also charge the phone. So this is all being powered by the Motorola Atrix. So if we then bring it back here, slice it in. We can launch the entertainment centre. Then using the remote control and infrared, we can control our home entertainment system through music, pictures, videos. And it'll play in HD. So this is all being powered by the world's most powerful smartphone, the Motorola Atrix. Motorola Atrix, the world's most powerful smartphone. This, this, uh, Does that work? Yeah, you have to use that one. Ah. This document. Okay, let's go there.